What's up everybody? I am Douglas Green and I am here yet again for another episode of Tea Tuesdays on Her Campus CAU. We are Her Campus CAU! We are the YouTube Creative Team! So let's get started, shall we? Now, the first topic on the agenda for today my heart. Oh. oh Lord, my heart. Jesus, Lord have mercy. Mm. Anybody who knows me knows that I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love marriage medicine on Bravo every Friday at 9 p.m. 8 p.m. Central Time, okay? Now, something that broke my heart this week from marriage medicine was the fact that my favorite couple, uh, Spellhouse Products. Oh my God, you're amazing. Simone and Cecil literally called it quit. Now, for those of you who don't know, earlier in the season, Simone and Cecil have been having a lot of issues due to the fact that Cecil took a rather large amount out of their joint bank account and decided to invest it into a company to where he only owns 16%. I mean, yikes. I mean, like, what? Really? I mean, I could have understood if Cecil took it out of his own personal account because Simone did say that he took successful marriage to three bank accounts. One of his, one of hers, and one of them together, which I really do believe is the key to a very successful marriage. However, when you do take something out of a joint account, you cannot take it for yourself, Cecil. You can't do that. And even though it was a great business plan and you thought it was wonderful, excellent, with this and the all up, no, you can't do that because at the end of the day, you're dealing with your wife, your life partner. So it's basically like thievery, robbery, scamming, stealing from your own home. Like, Cecil, come on. Honestly, though, truly, I can say that I hope Cecil and Simone work this out. I don't want to see them divorce because literally they are my favorite, favorite, favorite couple on Married to Medicine, if I can genuinely say so myself, okay? Next item, next item, next item. Now, Marseille Martin. Oh God, we love her. We love her here at Her Campus CAU. Marseille, we absolutely love you. Now, for those of you who don't know, Marseille is currently starring on ABC's hit show, Blackish, and she stars as Little Diane, the wonderfully diabolical little sister who I wish I could only have been blessed with because the girl is entertaining and she plays her role very well. But something that is causing a stir in Hollywood for today is that she is now not only co-writing, she is executive producing and directing her own movie. <laughs> Hashtag Black Girl Magic. Because girl, you're doing this at 13. What was I doing? What was I doing? Trying to figure out what was I doing? Algebra? No, algebra. Algebra. I think algebra. Who knows? However, <laughs> honestly though, I can say that I am so proud of this Black Girl Magic coming from this girl because at the end of the day, writing is already something that is extremely hard to do. I'm a writer myself as like a little bit of a street author, street therapist, okay? And writing is just very difficult because you have to come up with ideas, you have to piece everything together. It's just a very tedious job. Then EPing, which means that you're producing, which means that you're putting your own money into this, is already another difficulty. And then not only that, you're directing yourself, honey. Round of applause for you, round of applause, because at the end of the day, you're amazing girl, all right? Next item on the docket. Now, Ooh. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Now y'all know, you know, a new thing is we bring up a couple from the dead every week who just seems to have some drama. Child, I don't know where this couple's coming from, but hey, who knows? But currently, Jennifer Hudson and almost ex-husband David Otunga are now in a very nasty legal battle against one another due to the fact that Jennifer wants David to start working. Now, for those of you who don't know, David Otunga did start on um, I Love New York, originally as punk back in 2006, 2007, you know, the golden age of reality TV. However, now today, he is actually a correspondent and a former pro wrestler for World Wrestling Entertainment. 
Now, the thing about it is that Jennifer told him that he could not work because she wanted him to stay at home and deal with their son most of the time. Therefore, he did take a step down from his position at WWE to become a, you know, guest correspondent while she continued on in her success of her career. Now, this is where things get very interesting. Quite honestly, Jennifer Hudson, now we don't know if she cheated. We don't know. We don't know. Okay, there was a lot of information back here a while ago that said Jennifer had, you know, been, you know, an adulterer on David and had another man with whom she was dealing with, a gospel singer at that. <laughs> gospel and adultery? What? What we doing, Jennifer? What are we doing? Like, girl, come on, Effie, Effie. Effie, really? Really? You know, at the end of the day, I think that she really needs to look at her own self. And I think she needs to realize that you can't stop this man from working, then tell him he needs to work, then get mad at him when he can't get no work because you didn't initial with the person who stopped him from working. Jennifer, you make me tired, Jennifer, you make me tired. Next item on the docket. For those of you who don't know, I am in I am a huge fan of the Shade Room. Now, every week the Shade Room definitely has like this one random story of the week that they talk about. So, basically the headline for this story was this, my boyfriend of 11 years left me for his baby mama, okay? He went with the baby mama for a month and it didn't work out. And now guess what? He's running back to her. Does she stay with him? and take him back and you know love on him again or does she leave him i'm gonna give 10 seconds for y'all to think what i'm thinking okay we're gonna start now okay let me say this uh -huh. you what did huh you let you, 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 you left to go be with your baby mama? Your baby mama didn't want you from the beginning? What? Who, I just, who does this? Do people act like this? What? Next item on the docket, please. I love Dr. Phil, you know. Growing up, you know, I used to go up to my auntie and my grandma's house and I had no cable. So naturally, you know, you got them five common channels that everybody watch. You know, you got PBS, ABC, Fox. It's in third, Mari, you know, <laughs> wonderful. I had a very colorful childhood. Now, Dr. Phil has become one of my favorite people in the world because Dr. Phil is one of the funniest people I've ever met before in my life. So, let's talk about it. Dr. Phil had a guest on the other day and this woman was absolutely backwards crazy. Okay, let me tell you. So, you know, she come out with a little red lipstick, a little red jacket, you know, her little blonde wig sitting on her head all the time and stuff. And I'm just saying, like, what's going on? Because you, you, you doing too much already. Y'all, this woman done sat here, done sat here, and said that she and Tyler Perry, Tyler Perry, Medea, 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 that had a baby together. What? <laughs> what are you doing? What? How can you, ma'am, ma'am, you, you, I'm really talking to you right now, sis. How can you have a baby with Tyler? Tyler Perry, Tyler Perry, Tyler Perry Studios. And then she started saying, you know, Dr. Phil kept asking questions like, okay, well, where did you and Tyler meet? She said, I don't know. Dr. Phil asked her, well, when, what night did y'all conceive y'all baby? She said, I don't know. And then he asked her, well, how is it that you conceived a child with this man if y'all ain't never did nothing before? She said, God put it on my spirit. <laughs> what? So for those of you who don't know, for those of you who don't, all right? It was a teacher recently this week, white teacher, white lady about maybe mid fifties, and you know, but she was asked to go on paid leave for telling black students in her classroom to cut the, and I quote, in blank G-G-E-R, 
You use your context clues. Music off in her classroom. Now, <laughs> the fact that the teacher walked out of the classroom with no broken bones, no physical lacerations, or anything that you know could possibly harm her is amazing. I think that those kids did a great job of you know reporting the officials who were responsible enough to get her out of the situation. However, y'all new age kids funny because had it been back in my day. <laughs> Little teacher, little teacher, little teacher. Hey, 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 Miss McGibbon, Miss McGibbon. <laughs> you gonna have to meet me outside at three o'clock. Now, <laughs> the biggest story of them all. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. For those of you who don't know, the Kardashian clan just welcomed, you know, baby number three, but you know, that's Kim and Kanye. You know, Chris is getting more grandchildren every day of the week. <laughs> Sooner than we might actually think so. Who y'all know who we talking about? Kylie Jenner. Now, Kylie Jenner, according to TMZ.com, had photographic evidence. They had pictures of her now. They had pictures. Y'all know Kylie been hiding for a while. You know, you know, she went from social media guru queen to now going into hiding. Now where I'm from. You going to hide for one thing. You either trying to run from the cops, but if you a female, you pregnant. And I'm gonna tell you how I know this because years of desperate housewives, so when it's Bree's Amanda Camp, little daughter got pregnant, she sent her to a concentration camp, brought her back, and Bree had a new child. <laughs> I know game. Don't try to run it with me. Now, Kylie was spotted in a desert area in California this past week. And she was looking rather large in a black outfit. And you know, from the front picture, I could give her that she wasn't pregnant. We could say it was just, you know, like some dang clothes or something. I'm gonna give somebody the benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna try to work with you. That's just why I am. Ooh, but baby, when she turned to the side to get into the car, Kylie. You can't, you can't hide no more, girlfriend. I'm so sorry. I, we were rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you? <laughs> Kylie, come on. You gotta come out and say you were pregnant. And come on. I mean, look, it's America. We're not gonna judge you. It's, it's a commonplace. Just as you and you know, the little boy, what's his name? Is that Travis Scott? Last item on the docket. Now, this was a story this week that really, really, really made me happy because it really gave me restored faith within parenting in the 21st century. Because let's be honest, kids out here having kids, y'all ain't got no sense. And to you, you parents who were born in, you know, the 70s and the 80s, but you had y'all babies in the 90s, y'all ain't got no sense either. And I'm going to tell you why. Today, now, I read the story completely um, take my hat off black moms matter let me tell you why this lady told you know her local news station it was in Florida that you know she was watching the news and she saw that an 81 year old woman had been carjacked now when they rolled the tape back to see who had carjacked her the woman's worst fear happened she saw her own 14 year old son being the culprit so, as a parent, you want to do everything to protect your child initially, which is what she also did say in her interview. However, she said that as a parent, she also had to show discipline and show that he could not get away with this and she wasn't going to protect him from it. So, she then called the police and turned in her own son. Now, you heard me right. She called the police and turned in her own son for the carjacking. Let me say I give a hand to her right now because at the end of the day, that was a strong woman. I hope you guys enjoyed Tea Tuesday. I want to say thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and we will be back very soon with another episode of Tea Tuesday. My name is Douglas. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day, you guys.